Joshua for yet another episode for Women's Day for Women on Top and today I am with another amazing woman. Um, let me welcome you on the show Fiona. It's Thank so you. wonderful to have you here. It's wonderful to speak with you today. Thank you so much. Thanks for taking out the time. So Fiona, my first question would be very simple. Tell us about you. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing complicated. <laughs> So, uh, my name is Fiona Tan. I'm a transformational artist. I use fine art and energy to help transform people's lives, bring them beauty and enhance their life, uh, transform and bring them harmony also. I do so by um, really using energy and light and essence. And as Einstein said, you know, there's not, everything is energy. That's all there is and energy can only be transformed. So with some gifts that I have and you know all my art background, I mix those two different elements together to bring forth different transformation and also just of the mind but also of the energy mentally and emotionally to get rid of all those stresses and things that bring us all unbalanced in our lives. Wow, that's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> so uh, you already have a client. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get this energy story going. <laughs> No, she's absolutely amazing. In fact, when I walked in her to meet her and just say hello, I could just feel the entire aura. It was like a magnetic aura that I walked into and um, extremely warm for who you are and uh, you know how everybody in the world loves you. Uh, you're a very humble person. And I really appreciate that. It's beautiful to meet beautiful women like you. I do know that you, uh, with your mother, are doing some super amazing work um, a charitable work with your association. I want you to tell everybody about all that amazing work that you do. Thank you for you know, asking me this. Uh, with my mother, we started uh, a charity, non-profit, that's called Passion Sea. And it's really to raise awareness about the importance of the ocean, importance of water to children and different families by mixing education and creative together. Because we think that if we can educate, change habits, and really bring knowledge and you know have people brainstorm, bring solutions, that we can change the world and like, you know, not perpetuate this like, you know, bad cycle that we are on. Wow. So whatever you're doing, you're basically just changing the world and making, yeah. you're making it a better place and a happy place <laughs> for everybody, right? Well, <laughs> I think everybody you know, wants joy, beauty, and also you know, just to feel good and bring more happiness that water is all within us and around us, so we need to protect it. And you know, I think that if we can live a life that's more meaningful and beautiful at any level, it's bring forth so much, you know, like ripples, like so much like it affects, you know, the people in our life, ourselves and you know, our value and empowerment, just so like we're talking today for Women's Day. Yeah, yeah, wow, that's, that's, that's precious. But I want you to also, since you brought up the Women's Day yes. story, uh, let's go there. <laughs> Uh, tell me, you know that this is especially for the upcoming yes. International Women's Day. So what is the significance uh, for you? Like for me, in this day and age, you know, it's important that people really feel empowered, that they bring able to bring you know, their different like, you know, meaning and like, vision of life and share what is important to them, but also like, you know, have equality and like, you know, just no judgment. No like judgment. It, I think it's you know, important that everybody feels in their own level, like, you know, empowered and true of being able to be themselves and their best selves yeah. and not be recommended for it. Yes, yeah, so. equal opportunity for, you know, and, and you mentioned something about you actually working with a lot of women. Yes. And you I should do. share that with everybody <laughs> because that's super amazing that you give opportunity to a man or a woman. It's equal. I mean, what a man can do, a woman can do. You must share that story with the, with the audience. Yeah, it's, well, you know, and you know, just well, if I look back, you know, I see that 90% of the women, uh, like of the people that I work with, like when it comes to art or, or like, you know, business, are women, 90% of it. At the same time, on our board and the people that we work for in our, our charity, it's also mostly 70% or more women. And it's not because we want to pick a woman over a man, it's just that, you know, maybe I'm connecting more to women and like being able to, you know, really drive my kind of like passion and that kind of message into the world at this moment. And if like, you know, uh, a man comes along, you know, he can be also part of, of the course, team. Of course, but it's, yeah. you know, I think it's important to just like, to, 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 <laughs> it's yeah, exactly, like, you know, to, it's about the, the person, it's not, you know, has to be race, gender or anything, it has to be about, you know, connection. Yeah, that, that's, yeah. That, that, that's great that you're doing that because I do feel that Today, there's a lot of opportunity here, definitely where we are in Monaco, yeah. for women to work and everybody's doing something exactly. or the other. 
and this Monaco lifestyle is really glamorous for people out there. So you want to tell us, you've been here for a long time yeah. in Monaco, right? <laughs> I haven't been here long <laughs> enough. And this is a lifestyle that really intrigues the people yeah. and, and it's known as the playground of the rich and famous yeah. outside because when we come here, we're all like, what is Monaco about? <laughs> so tell people about the Monaco lifestyle. Yes. Well, Monaco is a great place to be. It's well, it's so lovely, situated, you know, in the south, you know, like uh, border of like you know France, where you have the French Riviera. It's, you know, it's idealistic. So everything is just like bringing forth like you know beauty, glamour, and like you know, of course, like you know, you you know, at, like maybe like you know, rich and famous, also like you know, people because sometimes like people that have some means that appreciate things of like a certain yeah. standard yeah. Yeah. but it's, it's so clean it's like so you know so much security safe, like, just see, safe it's, safe. it's very safe, safe for women, yeah. very safe for women. One, yeah. like you know kids can go like you know to school in the bus by themselves it's like another problem and like the beauty that's surrounding it is so amazing you know and we're close by nature and and we're like you know in, in a country that's really trying to like you know propagate change you know and bring forth different you know ideals and also solutions to influence and hopefully to also like bring you know change within like you know the neighboring countries yeah. and influence them yeah so it's you know but at the same time like you know everything you know it's like you know beautiful and glamorous but there's also like a part that's like down to earth and very connected to kind of like you know the environment and also to everything that's surrounding us so you know, you can have your own kind of Monaco lifestyle, but it's, you know, it's you can choose to, exactly, yeah, you can choose, choose, choose to be glamorous and out exactly. there, or you can be your spiritual exactly. person that you are. Yeah. And I think also, um, the whole um, vibe of this field, because of the safety, yes. we all tend to, whether it's late in the night yeah. or in the day, we're happy to be. And I've never seen people kind of stressed here. Yeah. Because I think the environment is just so calm that even if you're not spiritual and into yeah. the story, you get into that calm and serene <laughs> self when you say, oh my God, this beauty just kind of gets you, right? Yeah, definitely less stress in, than in other cities where there's even more chaos around you. So yeah. you extract that out, yeah. you know, there's still different levels of things like, you know, happening, but yeah. It's, you know, it's being in the South also, it has like a different kind it of is, like lifestyle. It is, it is. So I know that you're a lot into this chakra cleaning and all of that. What do you think when you think India? Well, you know, as we were talking about chakras earlier, so like chakras and yoga and then like colorful saris, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the colorful saris. Yeah, the yeah. colorful saris. Yeah. <laughs> the music, the dance, yeah, exactly. the dance the of the body, of our heart, the Bollywood. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so maybe have you you've never been to India? Yeah, I've been. Oh, you yeah, have been to I've India. Been oh, twice, yeah. Oh, lovely. Yeah. So where in India have you been? Well, first time it was more spiritual and also kind of like healing, uh, let's say. So I went to the Himachal and I went to a retreat over there. Wonderful. We did only like yoga and like, you know, hikes. So it was a very different kind of like, you know, India that I felt the second time around when I went to, um, I went to Jaipur, I went to New Delhi and I went also like in the golden triangle yes yeah. exactly. beautiful so you've yeah. done the Taj Mahal exactly now. yes beautiful how amazing Positive. is that yeah. wonderful so I want to leave people with a good inspirational message from you to them so okay. tell them something special so I think you know on this like International Women's Day it's important to really you know be thankful and be able to feel empowered both men, women, you know, just, you know, being able to be our own self and, you know, cherish it and not feel like any judgment into like, you know, any decisions that you make and really embody your strength and, you know, and your passion so that it can ripple into the world and that you can really bring more love and joy around you and, you know, and attract that also into your life. I think that's important. That's beautiful. Like Fiona said, believe in yourself and you're going to be unstoppable. And like I always say, keep dreaming and dream big. Beautiful things are around the corner. So exactly. keep watching. Shali says, this is Fiona Tan Piaget with me. And she was trying to keep some information from me. Which Not <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did read up on you and I came well informed. And I want to tell you all that she's one woman who's going to be representing Monaco in a big art show in Dubai. And that's the piece of information which I was going to leave without. So this is something the audience must hear. Yeah, exactly. Especially as it's happening during International Women's Day, yeah. you know, next week in Dubai. And I'm one of the 88 women that's, you know, like uh, 
whose artwork on the theme of each equal, which is also the theme of the International Women's Day of 2020. Mm -hmm. yeah, so yeah. it's all very much like in synchronicity, let's say. Uh, and I represent Monaco. So I'm very excited about that and being able as, you know, a woman and a woman from Monaco yes. to be there yes. and, you know, and to bring forth kind of my idea of what, you know, each four equal means. Wow, wow, so, this is absolutely commendable. And I also believe that you're doing something in uh, Miami, right? Yes, also. Yes. Wow, so you should tell everybody about the show yeah. in Miami as well. So uh, I'm also doing like a woman's show in Miami with two other women. And we are going to do a show in like South Beach called Her Art. So also, you know, a lot of woman empowerment this month. <laughs> and I say, so yeah. all of you who are in Miami and people who are in Dubai, you know where to find Fiona. You can go attend the art show and there will be all her links at the end of the interview. So you can find her and reach out to Fiona. Thank you so much, Thank Fiona. You. And congratulations Thank to you. you. And congratulations to you for doing that and you're giving us voices yeah. you know, on your platform. Thank you so much. Thanks for being here and we're going to go celebrate now. You guys take care of each other. <laughs>